Alright, while doing a practice run for this room, I ended up getting a soft lock, so I'm just gonna hope that doesn't happen again. But, yeah. We're leaving the... Mouse hole room. Awesome. So, getting out, immediately, this guy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Are they gone yet? <laughs> this ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move the force. If we go, if we say no, nothing happens. So, I guess we have to. Here comes Naps the Blue. All right, let's see what's going on here. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh, and we're starting off with this attack. This. Yep. It is, it's a very difficult attack for such an early boss, and the fact that it's one of their only three attacks. <laughs> That's the blue gives wishing they weren't here. Oh. Why don't we help cheer him up? Wait. I just weighed down. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Yeah, I say they have three attacks, but that attack is, I think, only happens once in a battle, so it's more like two. Wishing they weren't here, yeah. You threat. Give Nasa Blue a cool look. Go ahead, do it. Anyway, this is what I do. Just make little small movements, and if you do it right, then it should end right before you get hit. And now, cheer. It gave Naps Blue a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> and then their other attack. It, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple attack, really. Just a little bit better. Cheer again. You told Naps Blue a little joke. Heh. <laughs> Seems to have improved Naps Luke's mood again. So, I wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blue. Yeah, I'm not doing the voice that well. Do you like it? Naps Luke equally awaits your response. Well, if you flirt, um, it doesn't work in the demo. You can't flirt to. And that. Also, I've never, literally never seen that attack before. Okay, well, I've never seen that attack. <laughs> yeah, you can, in the full version, you can use flirt to end the battle, but it doesn't work in the demo, so. Mm. If we threat, cruel look. I knew it! And their attacks just get like, well, te like ten times more difficult. <laughs> or I guess like, just like t two times. And you may think, well, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I can't, I can't do anything, can I? Can't even run. I'm, I'm kind of doomed to get a game over. It becomes a survival, survival challenge. Try to console Naps. Yeah, it's po it's still possible to win. You have to cheer him. Eight times, I believe, and then it effectively restarts the battle. Bas basically, you just you don't want to do this. If I die, if I die, I'm just gonna hard cut to when I'm back to the point. But hey, oh, oops. Was our fourth try? So that's number five. Gosh, I'm not moving fast enough. Six. Seven. Might not have moved. Okay, that's fine. And th that should be the last one. So, after yeah. There's less tears that time. Use that attack consistently. 
which kind of sucks, I think. But yeah, patient smile. <laughs> yeah, it has like a harder variant of this attack too, but I didn't really use it. Well, we'll probably get in the full playthrough. <laughs> Again, I'm not that concerned about getting everything. But yeah, I've never seen it go to that side either. So, let's get this and then cheer to end the battle. Of course I like it. So, cheer. Oh gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today, I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Yeah, let's give ourselves a quick save. I can't wait to get to the full version again. But in here, Spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. We have... 7G in the web and 18G. Um, I only have 16 right now. If we leave 7 in here, we get if spiders crawl down and give us a donut. Spider donut. He was 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the battle. The, the batter. The... Yeah, if you put in 18 gold, you get the spider cider itself. But that's probably something we'll worry about in the main game. Now this room... If I miss it, spider baked in. Sail down and to the right. Can we get food made by spiders for spiders and spiders? This room sucks in the demo. It is devoid of pretty much anything that made it cool. <laughs> the, there's one frog in here. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I, I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost beat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human ribbon. Yeah. If you've played the full game, yeah, you recognize this as um, basically this frog. It was moved. Forward towards the beginning of the solo section of the ruins after Toriel leaves. Oop. Oh hey, new guy. Um, I'm still talking though, give me one moment. But yeah, that guy has moved towards the beginning of the ruins. Instead he's replaced with like three different frogs who are not here anymore. And there's another there's also a phone call from Toriel you get in this room that doesn't happen in the demo. And there's like another little secret that's not in the demo either. So which, you know... It's, it sucks! Anyway, Vegetoid came out from the Earth. Alright, well... Serving size, one monster, not monitored by the USDA. Fun locally, very locally. Ah. Yeah, it's very hectic. Oh. Talk. Plants can talk, dummy. So it's here for your health. Eat. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. Part of a complete breakfast. Now. Another change from the main version. You might notice that we're, we, we've tried everything, but we can't do and We can't spare it. We don't have the means to right now for some reason. In the full version, you're, you have an extra option called dinner that, you know, helps you. But, um, it's missing here. None of these will lead to sparing. I mean, I could try sparing it. Fresh morning taste. Yeah. We just can't really spare it. I think you have to, I think if you attack it once or twice and then eat it, I think that counts as sparing in this version. It does not in the full version, but it does in this one.
Actually, can I spare them now? Hmm. Oh, what if I eat? You tried to eat this. Oh, but I just have to do more damage. But I'd done enough. I was a little afraid. But okay. Yeah, yeah, see? I almost killed, killed it. I could eat your greens. And it's kind of bruised. There we go. That's sparing. Alright, that was bad. But yeah. Bottom line is, this room just kind of sucks in this in the demo. Let's just continue. Here's just one switch. And, well... We have another vegetable in here. I'm not gonna talk to it. I would've if we didn't just encounter one, but I'm just... I'm not gonna talk to it. <laughs> here. Found a faded ribbon. Cool. Monsters will be reluctant to hit you. Well, let's put it on. And now we can look at our currently, our previously equipped item, the bandage. Now it's a healing item, and it's already been used several times, which is cool. In fact, I could probably use it really soon. In fact, I might have to. All right, we're gonna just check out this guy. Because it seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Filthy single binder! Yeah. The... Like Whimsom, it's a support enemy. It doesn't really. doesn't. it's not very effective on its own, but. well. He great. he makes other people's attacks more difficult. Now. The thing is, he's also like the opposite of Whimsum in a way, too. I'm trying to talk to him. I don't care! So, what if we just spare them? Being me is the best! And he just starts dancing. Look, look at this little guy. Oh God, doesn't even have a care in the world. And, now that he's alone, well. Let's talk to him. Hiya! <laughs> yeah. And we can spare them now. Hell yeah. Yeah, again, kind of like the opposite of Whimsum. Because, like, Whimsum, you can't spare. You can spare immediately. Well, Big Osp, you can only spare on their own. Anyway. Naps bloops here. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh wow. Fucking idiot. Down here is. Oh. Hey guys. Yep. I did not mean to flee. I, I did not mean to press flee. It would have been cool if it worked, but yeah. I like, I like getting the two entire gold. Hell yeah. Down here is another Vegetoid. I'm not even gonna bother going in the room above us because it's empty. Now... Boop. There's our switch. By the way, this is where I softlock, by the way. <gasps> I fucking... I went... Yeah. I went in the room with Napsabook in it. Swing your arms, baby! <laughs> the Napsabook room. I went up. And then I, I just got... I got an encounter right as I came out of here. And then after the encounter, I just couldn't move. I was just completely stuck. And now... We have a very interesting series of events here. The forward door is not an exit. It simply marks a change in perspective. 
We have a blue switch, a green switch, and a red switch. So, if we go over here, well, definitely a change of perspective. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Well, our blue switch was... Uh-oh. Uh... Is this even possible? Um... I'm just gonna run. <laughs> yeah. To switch. Yeah. Press the blue switch. Clicking sound. And it's open. Please, please leave me alone. Uh, I think eating, again, I think eating might count as sparing, but I, I just, I don't want to risk it. If you can read this, press the red switch. Pretty straightforward. They keep coming back. It may be because I'm running, it's just like, oh dear. Switch, press it? Yeah. Hear a clicking sound. And then, you can read this, press the green switch. Oh! Okay, new enemy, but as the last possible encounter point, actually. I think this is the last room you can get encounters in if I... Am correct. So, we're gonna have to deal with two of them at the same time, but that's fine. It's Luke. Don't pick on him. Family name: Eyewalker. <laughs> Fucking Eyewalker. Please don't pick on me. Uh, okay. So, of course, you don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it and quit staring at me. The other guy. We're gonna go ahead and get this guy out of here. What an eyesore. So, obviously he just doesn't want to be picked on. So what if we do? You rude little snipe. <laughs> I like how it's like the weirdest mix mishmash of references though, like, obviously very Mike Wazowski here, but also like, shoving in a Luke Skywalker reference too. <laughs> Toby didn't need to do that, but he did. Uh, the green switch, right? Which is here. Your clicking sound. Awesome. Now, if you press the wrong switch, it just sends you to this little room. And I don't I don't think it'll pop up because I already solved it, but I believe if you are in this room for if you just don't progress after entering this room for a little bit, it'll just tell you, you know the blue switch behind the pillar. Um Alright, sure, we'll be we'll be nice. Oh, I just realized I picked on it. Oops. Finally. Alright, there we go. Two entire gold. And now, let's get moving on. Yeah. And... Well, we'd better check out this way first. Ribbit, ribbit! Just between you and me, I saw a Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. Awesome. And in here we have a toy knife. Toy knife, weapon attack 3. Made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. And, well, might as well use it. You equip toy knife. Stick. Weapon attack zero. Its bark is worse than its bite. <laughs> now, if you're playing the full version, I would recommend keeping onto the stick for at least a little bit. But if you do true pacifist, or even like a neutral where you're not killing everyone. 
Like, you don't care about pacifists, but you don't care about, you know, sparing everyone either. But it it does not matter whatsoever in the demo. You can just you put the stick on the ground and give it a little pat. Yeah. It does not matter in the demo, so might as well. All right. So sometimes talking to someone twice gives new dialogue, so I have to check. But going up here. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Urgh. Well, I suppose I cannot hide any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. And, well... Doing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. We'll be heading in there in the next episode. This is good enough for now. Just gonna end it off here. Thank you for watching.